Hey everyone, welcome back to Teacher FYI. I'm Mackenzie, a fifth grade teacher in Northern California. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you how you can create digital student portfolios using Google Slides. So student portfolios are really a great way for your students to showcase all of that work that they're proud of, reflect on just how much they've grown this year, and with so many digital assignments from the year, it'll be really helpful to have one place where they have all of their favorite projects from the year so that they can share that with their families. So I'll be walking you through how to create a template for your students to use, how your students will actually insert their work from the year, and how they will be able to share their portfolios. Now if you're new here, I do upload new teacher tips every week, so please be sure to subscribe to my channel and remember to give this video a thumbs up. That really helps other teachers discover this content and let's get into it. So Google Slides is a great option for your students to use to create their ePortfolios because it is such an easy tool to use. And if your students are already familiar with using Google Slides, then you don't have to teach them a brand new tool, especially this time of year. It makes it really easy for students to insert pictures, type up reflections, and hyperlink items to other Google Suite projects that they have worked on this year. The first step would be to create a template for your students to use for their portfolios. This is an example of what a final student portfolio may look like. So on this first slide, I have organized the student portfolio by subject. I also included a little welcome message that my students would type up to welcome their family into their portfolio. They could also insert a picture of themselves here. I have my little Pixin avatar for now. And then each subject is linked to the slide it goes to. That way, when students present their portfolio in presentation mode, they can just click between the different subjects. If they want to go back to their home page, then they just need to click the little corner here where they see the home icon, and it will take them back to the home page. To create this, I just wrote each subject in separate text boxes. Then I copy the link of each slide to the matching text box. So for example, the reading slide is on page two, so I will copy that slide's link and select the reading text box from the home page and paste it there. And then I did that for every subject. Then I found a little house icon image and then I inserted that onto every side of the presentation and linked that image to the home page. Now my students will have this basic template for them to use so they can insert all of their work. So now my template is all set up and ready to assign to my students. So now the next step will be to have your students actually insert all of their work into their portfolios. So these are just some ideas of things your students may want to include in their portfolios and I'll go over how to make sure that everything is linked properly for when your students share it. So one example of work that you may want your students to include is links to other Google slide presentations. I did this for both the reading and social studies slides where my students would share a project from the year. So to do this, your students will open up the Google slide presentation that they want to use, and then they're going to take a screenshot of the cover image of the Google slide and insert that as a picture into their portfolio. Then while that Google slide presentation is open, I'm going to make sure that I adjust the share settings by clicking share and then making sure that anyone with the link can view it because students may wanna share this with their families and they'll need to be able to access it if they're still not part of the school district email. Once they've done that, I'm going to click the picture and insert the link. Now when presenting the portfolio, they can just click on the picture and it'll take them to that presentation. You could also have your students insert a voice recording of them reading whether that be an excerpt from their favorite book or maybe a sample of their writing. I am using the Chrome extension Moat to do my voice recording. However, if you use another voice recorder for your students that they're familiar with, as long as it can be downloaded and saved to your drive, you can then go up to the top, click insert audio and then insert that recording. That would be a great way for students to actually hear themselves as readers and see how much they've grown since the beginning of the year. Students can also use text boxes to reflect on what they're most proud of, what they've learned, and why they chose that project to be part of their student portfolio. Students can also use the shape tool to add a little bit of personality to their portfolios. They can add speech bubbles or here on the reading slide, I had them write what their favorite book was and it really stands out. And on the writing slide, I had them insert a star and place it on their favorite piece of writing. 
So for the writing section, I really wanted my students to include an example of each form of writing that we've done this year. So just like the Google slide example that I shared, students can actually link their writing into their portfolio. So students are going to open up their piece of writing, take a screenshot of that first page. They will adjust the share settings so anyone with the link can view and they're going to copy and link it to the picture on the slide. Now they can just click and read their writing and they don't have to go searching their drive for their favorite pieces of writing from the year. Students are also able to insert video into their portfolios. So for example, on the math slide, I'm having my students teach a math concept from the year. And on the science slide, I'm having them choose one of their STEM projects that they recorded on Flipgrid. So if you used Flipgrid, students can actually download their videos to their drive. Or if your students have recorded themselves in other ways, as long as that video is saved into their drive, then they can just click insert and select that file from their drive. Now when the portfolio is in presentation mode, they can actually just click and watch that video. You can also have your students insert photos, so this would be great if they have any art projects from the year or handwriting samples. If you can have a handwriting sample from the beginning, middle, and end of the year to really show their growth, or if you just want your students to insert a picture of themselves on that last slide or on the front page of their portfolio, then they can go to insert image and then select the camera button and just take a picture of themselves right there. Then on the last slide of their portfolio, I would definitely have my students include a reflection page and their picture. So this would be a great place for students to really reflect on the year as a whole. What did they learn? What was challenging? What were they most proud of? And what are their hopes for the next year? Then they can also insert a picture of themselves and that will be a really great keepsake for them to have for years to come. Now, once your students are all done inserting all of that work into their portfolio, they are going to need to share it with their families and their classmates. So to do this, they're going to adjust the share settings by clicking share, change to anyone with the link can view, and then that will be the link that they use to share with their families, which would work really well if you are doing student-led conferences or a virtual open house. They just open it up, click present, and then go through all of their hard work that they've done this year. As students are completing their portfolios, I also recommend that you create a landing page with the links to all of your students' portfolios so that they're all in one place. So to do this, I just have a Google slide here with all of my students and each student has their portfolio linked. So I just inserted images of each student's avatar and then once students were done, I inserted the link for each student. This could also work just on a Google Doc with students' names and having all of their links in one spot just to keep track of. It's really up to you if you want to share that landing page with the rest of your class so your students can actually see their classmates portfolios or if you want to keep portfolios a little more private for just the student and their family. The landing page is just really helpful so that all of those portfolios are in one spot. As always, thank you so much for watching. ePortfolios are such a great way for students to organize and celebrate all of their hard work from the year. I hope this video gave you some ideas on how you can make these portfolios work for you and your students. I will be linking the template that I use in this video down in the description box to save you some time and to help you and your students get started on these right away. If you didn't enjoy this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing for all my newest teacher tips and I hope to see you again next week.